They are not. They're, I mean, they're all in the in the cane of family, but they're not too different. Whereas a wolf is a pretty different creature from a dog. Hmm. Yeah, Karen's better at doing this trail stuff than you are. Uh, I'm fond of wandering about. <laughs> yes, you are. Ah, I am this great bush This is home for me. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> so you're saying you're not lost. That's your way of saying that you're not lost. Uh, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> Experienced people. I'm videotaping and walking. That's that lets you know. At the same time. Yeah, exactly. Now, once you learn how to do that, then I'll give you a pass. Well, the real question I have for your viewers then. <laughs> oh gosh. How many of you have vomited already, and how many? Of you <laughs> wow, look at this wide highway. This is <laughs> So this this um trail will take you to the base of one of those climbs? Actually this trail takes you to the summit of the mountain where there's a small fire tower. Oh, so you can you can just sort of walk all the way up there. Yeah, it's a hiking trail. It's wow. for non-climbers. It's just it makes a very nice, easy solution yeah. for coming down. If right. You know how to intersect with it from the climb, and you've been uh, you've been cutting across into this trail for 30 years, so we hmm. do it. Any scrambling on this? Nope. There's a couple spots you got to pay attention. You must put your hand on once, but nothing. Hmm. Very, very nice. This is, remember I told you the story of the, the kid running by? Was, yeah, mm hmm. This, he was right here when he ran by, right? Just about here. And, uh. So, where's his mom? Up the mountain or down? He was, he had gone to the summit. Hmm. The three of them, actually, there was a sibling, I think it was his sister. The four of them had gone to the top, and I guess he had been, been stung on the way down. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, yes. I've never seen a woman in less need of help <laughs> who had that many people coming to help her. <laughs> yeah, Karen and I, I called to run with a woman full blown out of flash of shock one time. Hmm. That was scary. What did she look like to you, Ariel? <laughs> like crap. She was just blown up or just blue or? She was, well, she, you know, she was, she, fortunately, she was still breathing. Uh -huh. um, she, Everything let loose at the same time. I mean, she was hyperventilating. She was seriously diaphoretic. I mean, she was sweating like a horse. Uh, she was really pale and, and, you know, that climbing thing. And uh, she was in the bathroom vomiting, mm. pooping, and urinating. Oh, my gosh. The same time. She, Her whole body just let loose from Yeah, she just lost control of everything. And uh, then... Uh, we got her in the ambulance because she was unconscious. Hmm. We drove like a bat out of hell. To the E-Town Hospital? In this case, we did. 
Unfortunately, the nurse met us in the parking lot Good. with a syringe and Hit her with it. literally within 10 minutes she was fine. Wow. <clears throat> but I, I had never seen anyone that bad off. That bad off. I, I didn't realize. I Wait, who called you? It was the ambulance. No, but who called you to their... Um... She had a phone. We have a dispatch system. Yeah, but there was a family member that called or she knew enough to call? No, there, she, yeah, she was not alone. She had a All family right. member there, so... She had a small cabin, and it got, she'd been out in the garden hmm. and got nailed. She did not have a, an EpiPen with her, so that was, you know, one of the But how come you guys didn't have one on you? Uh -huh. Well, at that time, this was like an 87. Um, before water? <laughs> yeah, before water. <laughs> we were not allowed to carry any drugs of any kind on the end mm. at all. You know, that's changed, and now, you know, if you, if you have a call, you know, some teens, there's a full complement of cardiac medicine and everything else. So. Mm -hmm. But you're not allowed to carry any drugs. So, that was, you know, things changed considerably in emergency medicine, and also in New York State and in Keene. So. <laughs>